and welcome back to Baseball Every Day. If you're new, we do baseball recaps, play wiffle ball, and sometimes MLB The Show 20. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button also. So we have a lot to cover, as yesterday was the last game of the season, the regular season. On Wednesday, the playoffs start, and it'll be the Dodgers versus Brewers. That'll be a good game on. 16 teams made it to the playoffs, 14 didn't. So let's start with the NL Central. The Cubs had a 10 to 8 over a 10 to 8 victory over the White Sox. Chris Bryant hit a home run in top of the second to give the Cubs an early lead. And in top of the third, David Bodie hit a home run. So the Cubs had a 2 nothing lead going into the fourth and they had a good game kept it up karen raven had a two rbi double to give the cubs a four to one four to zero nothing lead and the white Sox came back but it wasn't enough so the cubs and the white Sox are both in the postseason and one team that did not make it to the postseason was the mariners the mariners played the athletics and Frankie Montas had 13 strikeouts for the A's. That is a career high, and the 6-2 victory over the for the Athletics propels them. And now they are in the they are in the playoffs as the and they won their division. So the Athletics will be in the playoffs, and the Phillies lost to the Rays. So did the Giants, and so did the Brewers, which means the Brewers are in the playoffs. Phillies lost 5 to nothing. Uh, the Rays are going to be the number two. Uh, the Rays did really good. This season, their record was 40 and 20, so they had a really good year. The Giants had a battle to come. They lost 5-4, to four, but in the first inning, Will Myers hit a home run. The score was one nothing going into bottom of the second, and Mauricio Dubon, the center fielder, hit a home run to tie the game up. Then, in the top of the fourth, Will Myers had another a sack fly to score the run from third, 2-1, to one, and then in top of six, the Padres went off to get three runs on a bunch of hits. So the Giants were losing 5-1, to one, and Brandon Crawford hit a two-run home run to give the Giants to, to uh, be still ahead trailing 5-3. to three. Then, in top of bottom of eight, the Giants' star player this year, second baseman Wilmer Flores, Hit a home run to right field to give the score a 5-4. to four. Padres brought in their star closer this year, Trevor Hoffman. He did not give up one run, and Austin Slater made the final out of the season on a strike three called that was several inches below the strike zone. Not a happy call and a not a good way to end the season for the Giants, but better luck next year. The Red Sox won against the Braves 9-1. to That was a good recap. The Reds beat the Twins 5-3, to and the Brewers lost 5-2. to I'll go over those we'll go over those real quickly in a second, but we do have to say there's some more. So the Padres have some bad news. Mike Clevenger is going to be out for a while, as he has, uh, or not in a while, probably the next two weeks. Danielson Lamette, their starting pitcher in Cy Young competition, is also out. Their two starting pitchers are out with both of them have elbow tightness. Will Myers was day-to-day -day for a few days, but yesterday he came back and had a fantastic day as he helped the Padres win. And now, the, now to the Phillies-Rays game. The, 
Rays Phillies game ended in a sad loss for the Phillies as their season is over. Aaron Nola did not have his best stuff as he gave up three earned runs in the first four innings. Manager Joe Girardi had to take him out and the Rays scored two runs off of their relievers as a final score of 5-1 over the Phillies. It was a crazy game for the Cardinals and the Brewers as Brett Anderson had to leave in the top of two as bottom of two as his his pitching hand started to hurt. Uh, I think it was blisters and hopefully he'll be back in time to pitch for the postseason. Meanwhile, the Brewers had to bring in Freddie Peralta who gave up three runs in the bottom of the second, which led, and Harrison Bader had a triple and a home run, so a big game for Harrison Bader and the Cardinals. Cardinals won, and Cardinals move on as a wild card team into the playoffs. Sorry, as a division team, they were the second place team behind the Cubs. So, We have the Brewers and the Cardinals both in as the Giants lost. Brewers did not score any runs. Christian Yelich had double. Now we move on to the Reds versus Twins game. Reds won 5-3 as they, and now both of those teams are in the playoffs. So the Twins had Rich Hill. For the Reds, it was Sony Gray. Both had a very dominant performance. Going into the sixth inning, the score was nothing, nothing, but Sony Gray balked with a runner on third to give the Twins a one to nothing lead. The Reds came right back, and Eugenio Suarez hit an RBI double. The t- score was one to one, and Freddie Galvis for the or. Er, Freddie Galvis for the Reds got another run, 2-1. to one. So, in the end, they went into extra innings as the Twins got another run on a Max Kepler hit. In the 10th inning, Tucker Barnhart, the catcher, switching catcher, got an RBI. At, so, the score was 3-2. to two, A walk, 4-2. to two, And then Eugenio Suarez, again, walked. That was the Reds recap, and now let's go to the Diamondbacks-Rockies game. The Diamondbacks score 11 runs as they win over the Rockies 11-3. Madison Bumgarner got his first win in a uh, Diamondback uniform, and he pitched a solid seven innings. Cole Calhoun had a big day, a home run, and... Five RBIs. The rest of everyone on the Diamondbacks got a hit, a well day, and a very good day for the Diamondbacks. The Dodgers, they beat the Angels five to nothing, as AJ Pollock hit two home runs, both into center field. The Angels lost as Patrick Sandoval got the start for the Angels. The the Dodgers used an opener, and Dustin May came in in the second inning and pitched very well. The Dodgers will are the one seed and will be moving on to the postseason. For the P- Pirates, Adam Frazier had two RBIs in five at-bats, and... One RBI from Kebron Hayes as he walked and got and scored once. He had two hits that game, and Jose Azuna came in with a two two RBIs. Pitching the starting pitcher was J T. Hopefully, I'm saying this right. Brewbreaker. Brubbreaker. Brubbreaker. Sorry, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. He pitched five innings and got five earned runs, three strikeouts on two hits on 
seven hits, and the Indians, who won, for them, it was four RBIs from Fran Mel Reyes, one of our best bats, and Carlos Santana also got four RBIs. Eight together, uh, we had pit, starting pitcher was Cal Quantrail. They had a lot of pitchers. They had a total of eight. Eight pitchers in that game. Because Cal Contrail only pitched three innings. So he had one earned run and two strikeouts. But it was a lot of airs from the Indians. Thanks for watching MLB Recap today. As always, please subscribe. And make sure to check out our other videos. The, next, the playoffs start on Wednesday. And as always, 